In A-level H2 math, it is pretty common for you to be required to re-express something that is like this into its partial fraction. That happens in topics like summation, in topics like integration techniques. And it will be your advantage if you can do this super fast. First, we will try to re-express this as A over X plus B over X plus 1 plus C over X plus 2. And if you realize that the denominator consists of only linear expression, what you can do is this. To find A, you will check what is in the denominator of A. It is X. And what you will do is you will ignore X on the left-hand side. And for the rest of the x, you're going to replace it by the number that caused the denominator here to be 0. And that happens to be 0. So a is going to be equal to 2 times of 0 plus 3 divided by ignoring x because it appears as a denominator in a. So it will be 0 plus 1 multiplied by 0 plus 2. And this will immediately give you a. It is equal to 3 over 2. To find b, we can do the same thing. In the denominator, we have an x plus 1. So I'm going to be ignoring x plus 1, and I'll replace the rest of the x by the value of x that caused the denominator here to be 0, which is minus 1. So minus 1 caused this to be 0. So b will be equal to 2 times of minus 1 plus 3 divided by minus 1. I'm ignoring this, and I will have a minus 1 plus 2. This gives me a minus 1. For c, in the denominator of c is x plus 2, I am going to ignore x plus 2 and I'll replace the rest of the x by minus 2, which is the value that caused the denominator here to be equal to 0. So c is going to be equal to 2 times of minus 2 plus 3 divided by minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 plus 1, and I'm ignoring this, and c is going to be equal to minus half.